How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this crazy video that you may have seen floating around on Twitter from the most recent Democratic Socialist of America convention. Now, before I even get into this wow video, I just got to say, don't sleep on these people from DSA. Don't sleep. Once they get into government or other positions of power, they can do some real damage. Rashida Tlaib and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a.k.a. AOC, are both members of DSA. And you see what AOC did to New York with the whole Amazon deal. So although they appear to not have the elevator going to the top floor, they are a few fries short of a Happy Meal. They are not to be slept on. Now, before I get any further into it, let's go ahead and roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see exactly what I mean, some of the crazy antics, some of the weird ways they talk to each other, and a bunch of more things. After we get done with that, I'll give you my two cents, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Right, right uh, now, quick point right. of privilege. Quick um, point of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. Uh, <laughs> so already they're doing with the, 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 the gender language, he, him. You got to have your right pronouns out there. But anyway, let's continue. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my- I mean, so you can't talk like, all right, you're at a convention and the whole purpose is to communicate. I understand not, you know, being super loud, like during the movie or something like that, but come on, like basic little chatter here and there. I mean, you're at a convention. The whole purpose is to get to know people and to network. But anyway, let's continue. My ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a- <laughs> Comrade, that's hilarious, but it's not hilarious because you see what they're doing. You see the kind of language they're using, the, the communism. They're trying to bring that back into the greater conversation and into America, but let's continue. Speaker against name, point chapter, pronoun. Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. <laughs> Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna assume their gender or their preferred gender, but I can hear their voice. I can just make a guess. Maybe you can as well, but let's continue. Quick point of privilege once again. Quick point of privilege once again. Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who are... Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's not playing any games with you guys. It's like, look, y'all need to shut up because I can't concentrate. It's triggering me. Just shh, shh, be quiet. He's dead serious. Sensitive to sensory overload. And that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It is also <laughs> triggering to my anxiety. Like... The be comradely doesn't ju isn't just for like you know let's keep things civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't gonna get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate. Okay, your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express your. I mean, I'm getting triggered by him just you know cussing everybody out. What happened to this whole thing about oh you got to be comradely this that and the third? Why can't you express yourself in a quote unquote comradely way? I mean, I don't get it. So everybody's getting triggered because you're getting triggered. So we're just in a trigger fest here. But let's keep going. Yourself should not trump or over. <laughs> I, I know I caught that right there. No, he don't want to say the word Trump because you could be talking about Donald Trump. So you got to change that right quick. That was hilarious. But anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. That no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really. Now, if you can't see what he's doing right here, he's doing. He's doing jazz hands. He's glad that nobody is clapping because the clapping, it, it creates too much noise and it triggers people. You know, the, the loud bursts of noise trigger you. But let's keep going. Important because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something like reducing that. That's really important. So please don't clap. Shoot up these. We have a lot of disabled comrades and uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. You don't know who it is uh, that is having a more difficult time navigating this space. And this space was not created. Oh, man, that, like that's that's the word that really kind of triggers me right there. Space. Oh, man, that's another one. Uh, space. Uh, what else? Uh, trigger is another word that triggers me. There's a lot of things they say that are, are just really insane. But let's continue with all of their needs in mind. So it's up to us 
to modify that space to make sure that uh, everybody is able to move in the ways that they need to move. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? Um, because those, there's, there's all... So you can, you can wave your hands, but you can't wave banners. So you, there's certain kinds of waves that are prohibited and others that are permitted. It seems like these people have so many different rules. But you know what? I'm going to pause right here and just talk about it for a moment. This is what communism is. This is what socialism is. They're talking about having all these things to help people and help um, society progress forward. But what it turns into is kind of a totalitarian state where you got all these rules that got to be enforced some kind of way. That was Nazi Germany. That was USSR. All these places had a plethora of rules you had to abide by. And of course, it's not going to always work. And when it doesn't work, that's when you have societal collapse and the eventual collapse of the whole situation. But let's go on. All sorts of things. If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. We have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? Please don't go in that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance, right? We don't want to put people in stress. So, okay, an aggressive scent. Now, I'm getting triggered by you, sir, because what if I identify as somebody that had a shower today, but I did not have one? Or if I feel like, uh, you know, uh, deodorant is masking my natural scent. So is my regular body scent from, you know, playing four court basketball for 12 hours? Is that an aggressive scent? But if it is and you get offended by that, I can be offended by you. You see all these rules, they don't make any sense and they kind of collide with each other, you know. That's why I'm all about freedom. You have less of these kinds of things to be concerned about. ...situations that they don't consent to, right? And we, there are um, right-wing infiltrators who are trying to get in here, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative es effort to de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? Take a deep breath. And feel better before you say anything. Don't really talk to anybody who doesn't have a creden credential, <laughs> especially if you claim to be from the press. You have no idea who that person is. Now, I would I would agree with them right here is that you got to have your credentials in some of these uh, events because they can be infiltrated by outside people. Obviously, I'm not going to be trying to go to the DSA event, but I've been to conservative spots. You may have some outsiders try to come in there and just do whatever they want you know, take pieces of information and twist it and run with it, all this and that. So you got to have your credentials right. That's a thing that most certainly needs to happen. And also a positive thing, shout out to this outfit. I'm not sure if you got like an Indiana Jones blood game banger mashup happening here, but I like that. So let's keep going. Please do not talk to anybody who identifies themselves as a member of the press without having uh, credentials. Um, don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. All we're wait, 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 sir. You can't be cursing, sir. Like, I'm, I'm offended by your cursing, by your language. Almost there. Just uh, this, but thank you. Um, <laughs> you got it. Like, okay, so when he said the MAGA a-hole comment, they say, you know, they cheered. But he's like, wait, wait, wait no, you can't. You got, you got to do, you got, you got to do jazz things. You almost forgot. Um, we are going to be visited tomorrow um, by some MAGA protesters. Um, is there anybody here who's done abortion clinic escort work okay so that that pretty much sums it up <laughs> that was an interesting video uh this kind of behavior in my humble opinion comes from a young age you're being taught by your parents they may be kind of the same way as the kids you're being taught by school from an early age you're being indoctrinated in college as well it's the same thing you learn a lot of these same types of behaviors oh you can't be clapping it's aggressive i'm getting triggered you know there's one thing i gotta say that needs to be said in general about human beings and why we are not the way we used to be in prior generations as far as our strength and resolve. You got to go through certain things as a child in order to be a healthy and well-rounded adult. They're putting children on drugs, medication from a young age, and that can go back towards the situations that happened over the weekend, the tragedies, you understand? Uh, people are not being allowed to be kids. They're being medicated, drugged up like zombies they can't go through the natural things you have to go through as a child therefore once they get to be teenage years things are really scary they're weird because they never had to experience them in a real way as a child go through the pain of you know bumping your elbow on the ground when you fall from the monkey bars 
you know, go through the, you know, the, the whole thing about being energetic and running around and playing and just exploring the world. When you put on these drugs, when you are disciplined in a certain kind of way that prevents you from being able to access the world, you're not prepared for the world once you get to be a teenager. And once you get to be an adult, you get all kind of issues that you could have been able to sort out in your childhood. If you had a normal development as a child, if you were not put on drugs, if you were not disciplined in a crazy way by your parents and you put on top of that, the education system, which fosters all this kind of behavior, which promotes it and which indoctrinates kids from a young age into what you just saw on the previous video I just showed. So what say you? Do you think these individuals on the video you just saw were just not all the way there, a few trees short of a forest, a few fries short of a Happy Meal, elevators not going all the way to the top, a few balls on the table short of an entire pool set? Or am I just being mean? Am I being offensive? Am I triggering you? This whole thing is just to point out what we're dealing with right now in society. These are the individuals. They may go to big tech. They may get in government and they may control your life. Do you want the kind of individuals you saw in the video to have a say so in what you do on a day to day basis? Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.